Okay, what's up YouTube? It is Pacey AI one more time about to give you another video. Remember to leave a like, share, and subscribe. Also remember to turn on notifications. Check out my other videos. Links are in the description. And at the end of this video, there's a playlist for all my other AI videos. So you guys definitely need to check that out. But subscribe, 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 guys. Leave a like, leave a like, share, share, share. So let's get into it. So want to talk to you guys about Claude Sonnet 3.5. Now, this version of Claude got released recently, and this is taking the AI world by storm. This is pretty amazing. I'm going to show you some of the features. Performance-wise, it performs better than ChatGPT 4.0, and it is definitely a great, great tool to use, especially if you're a developer. If you're a developer, this is like heaven right here because having the artifacts feature enabled, I think this is huge and it does allow for more visualization of what you want to generate, whether it be a website, whether it be a game. And I'm going to show you exactly how that artifact and feature works. But pretty much I just created a snake game and I'm going to show you how this works. So all I did was that I just said create an HTML5 snake game. And then essentially it generated the code right here. So this is a code right here. And then if you go to preview, you actually see the generated code right here. And if you just press one of your arrow keys and you just click on that and then you press arrow keys in a particular direction, then you can control the snake. And it plays typically how a snake game would play, right? Typically how a snake game would play, the snake grows. We go. So that's pretty much that. And that's pretty much it. Now you can add more things to it. Like I could say when the snake dies, then implement a game over screen where you can restart game. So basically I didn't type that perfectly, but what will happen is that it will update the code to include what I requested right here. And so as you can see, it's writing the code very fast. As you can see, the speed much faster than not much faster, but definitely faster than GPT 4.0 and gets the job done. So let's try to play the game now. So when we die, we have a game over. It gives you your score and then you can restart game over restart. So that's pretty cool. Now let's try some other things. Let's try some other things with this because it, this is really amazing. Create. So let's do this. Create an HTML5 where if the where enemies. You know what? I'm just gonna say like Mario. HTML5 platform like Mario. Let's just say that. So it's gonna go ahead and generate this HTML5 platformer similar to Mario. So let's see what it does here. It has a very huge context window, 200K tokens of a context window. So it can generate a whole lot of stuff. Okay, so that's our HTML5 platformer. So we can jump. Now there's a problem right here, right? We need fix such that the main character jumps higher and have enemies enemies that move towards the main character. I'm not typing this right, but enemies move towards the main character. Pixels in the main character jumps higher and have enemies that move towards the main character such that when the main character jumps on their head, they die. So now it's going to fix the code. I'm going to add what I just did. So now it's going to make the main character jump a little bit higher because it doesn't jump high enough. I'm going to make it so that it jumps a little bit higher. There we go. So these are enemies right here. So now this jumps a lot higher, but it doesn't jump forward. There we go. But that's your, that's your game right there. That's your, now it, it, it does have some issues. Let me see if I can make it jump forward. Allow name. I probably should say user. I probably should say um, allow user to 
I probably should say user the next time. I mean, I do that. But this is pretty cool, guys. I don't know if you guys can see the power of this, how cool this is. I can literally make a game in real time, an HTML game in real time, just by just typing stuff out and having Claw update the code. So now, there we go. So we can jump forward now, right? That was a problem. So there we go. We can jump forward now. Obviously, we can see. And then obviously we shouldn't have the enemies if the enemies collide with the with the user, then the user should die. So let me just do one more thing. If enemy collides with user and game over screen, you can now it's gonna generate the code, update that code that we had before, and have this game such that it has a game over screen. So when we die, there's a game over screen. It, the, the user is going to die. It's going to present a game over screen that we can then use to restart the game. And you see how quickly this is happening. This is insane. Real time HTML5 platformer, literally. Like a HTML5 platformer. This is insane. It, it really is. So look at this now. We collide with the enemy. There we go. Collide with the enemy. So if we jump on top of it, we should be good. Let me see. I don't know if it broke the previous code that I did. I didn't broke. It didn't break that. Okay. There we go. And we have our coins here. Whatever. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And it adds a uh, right here. There's a barrier, so we can't go any further. So I probably could tell it to extend the level because it's pretty functional right now, right? It's pretty functional right now. So this is pretty amazing. I don't know if you guys recognize that but or i don't know if you guys appreciate that i'm sure if you're a developer you will appreciate this but that is pretty cool now i want to go ahead and generate another game generate an html five game all right now i know i'm just doing games but i'm just doing games so you can get the idea of how powerful this is you know if you wanted to create like a login page if you wanted to create like a, a a dashboard analytics page or something like that, you can do that as well. There we go. This is the game of Pong right here. Good. So the other, I think the other person would have to, you get what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, this this is the game of Pong. You know, this is pretty much it right here. So I'm not sure how. Oh yeah, so we can move that one. This is really cool. This is really cool. So. Yeah, you can play this with two people. So that's pretty crazy. Let's try some other use cases of the new Claude. So let's say create me a login page for an analytics dashboard or an analytics dashboard describing, describing global warming. I don't even know. Whatever. Let's try something. Right. See, let's see what happens. I'm just thinking out. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what's the best thing to say to really to show you guys how this would work. Global warming analytics dashboard, right? Now, create homepage for this global warming analytics dashboard. Show different graphs of different information related to global warming i'll just say related to global warming so now it's going to create a home page and it's going to create the graphs different graphs of information make this dashboard and everything already created a login page so once you log in to this dashboard now okay so now it's showing you the graphs so these are the graphs of Global warming, global temperature anomaly. So it's showing you what the anomalies are. This is pretty scary, actually. <laughs> if this is real information, this is pretty bad. But yeah, CO2 emissions have gone up, but we have decreased our CO2 emissions over time. So yeah, this is what was what is showing you the sea level rise and stuff like that. And as you can see, you can interact with this 
dashboard and it can it can show you it shows you gives you a little tool tip to show you exactly what each thing means so that is pretty cool and obviously we have the login page for the dashboard so this is the login page and as you can see you can interact with this right? you can interact with this dashboard that is pretty cool yeah that's that just shows you the power of this I don't think I need to necessarily go into more detail. I think you guys get the point, right? This is a pretty powerful tool that you can use to go ahead and develop websites, develop applications, develop games. You know, you can use this to develop video game concepts that you can then work on within whatever software you need to use, whether it be Unity or whatever. You can just work on this to flesh out the skeleton of the game how the game is going to look how it's going to work and then go from there this is really cool really powerful tools man but let me know what you guys think about this and have a great day pacey ai sign out remember to subscribe to my channel i'll be putting out more videos but have a great day pacey ai sign